Beautiful day. Look at those palm, palm trees. trees. And the DNV. What more could you ask for on a day like today? It's a beautiful morning. It doesn't get any more exciting than this, folks. We're almost next. Not. <laughs> Dang it. We should have reserved our appointment now. Yeah. That would be nice. Almost there. No food or drinks, and especially no ice cream. I really want some ice cream now. No. Can we get some ice cream after no. this? No. No. Please? A little bit? Whew, it's gonna be a hot one today. So this tire looked a little bit low. After looking at the tread, we noticed there was a nice little staple, or a nail, right in our tire right there. What's funny too is Gina took it to the little pet boys down the street, and they said that they could not fix this. We'd have to go to a different place. They couldn't certify it or whatever. They wanted to just sell us probably a new tire, I'm sure. It still covers Lincoln's head. We found a place that'll fix Gina's tire. It's 15 bucks. We just had to go to his discount tire service. So we're headed there right now and then we'll get some lunch. And what do we have here? A present. Mm-hmm. Gina got this for me, guys. <laughs> it's awesome. Goes back to that same bank account thing, doesn't it, honey? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh. our old saw, it was like a $500 saw, and we definitely got our use out of it. I mean, we made lots of sets, tons of things. Yeah. Um, it lasted. We definitely got our money's worth, but it, uh, the blade doesn't adjust on it. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of things wrong with it. It's mm -hmm. kind of scary to actually use. I'm still gonna use it. I'll have it. It'll be my plexiglass saw. Uh -huh. I can just leave a plastic cutting blade in there. Now I'll have this one. The the fence was able to go out like 32 inches, so that's the only reason why we chose this one versus a lot of the other ones out there. But I'm excited. I'm All ready, right. I'm ready to rip some plywood. Uh huh. We well, had to get stimulated somehow to work again, right? Exactly. <laughs> you gotta buy a tool. You know, for each job that you do, you gotta get a tool. Well, what do I get? A paintbrush. Oh, okay. Okay. I look forward to that. <laughs> a box. We'll get you a box. <laughs> a box. Of <laughs> <laughs> Woo well, I broke in my saw. And I gotta say, it works mighty fine. I figured what better way to break in the saw than to get a little project going. So, we needed new saw horses. And the thing is, is these plastic ones, um, you know, they work really good. It, but they always tip over and they break on us. Um, I've actually had to repair a couple that break right here and then I drilled a hole and put wire in there and I just, you know, I've busted these end pieces off and so I didn't want to spend the money for these. You can see here on this one, see how I kind of fixed it and it broke there. And then, like I said, they're always folding up on us and collapsing. I like these guys right here. Um, you can get them at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Burrow brand saw horses, which you know they're kind of cheaply made, but they actually work really well for us, and I like them because they don't fold up on us, and you can kind of stack them together like this. When you're not using them, you can kind of stack them up, and that looks good for us. The thing about these is they're like 20 bucks a piece, so um, you know if you're in a hurry and stuff, they work really good. But if you have some time like I did I wanted to make some I am gonna make them taller though these are like 24 feet tall or he's 24 feet there's a small 24 uh, these are like 24 inches I'm gonna make ours like 30 it's funny because it says that they're rated for 1500 pounds I've seen some that say 2,000 pounds I don't know if I'd trust it with that much weight on there I sure wouldn't get underneath it what's nice though is I went and bought some wood that was uh, kind of warped and uh, damaged and stuff. And then I used some plywood that we already had, cut that up. So uh, I'm gonna shoot them together and then I might even add some, some screws in there to make it stronger. I've got enough pieces right here to make 12 total. I still need to go back through and route the edges and stuff and maybe sand some of the slivery parts. But uh, I'm excited. I made them a little bit taller than the uh, short guys that I, that I bought. Um, but you know, pretty much made them the same. Um, saw a couple other designs online, but again, this is easy, quick, 
and what's nice is they'll stack up decent we don't put a lot of weight on these we just always put our wall panels and stuff on there so it'll work good i just wanted to show you guys and let you know that the saw does work but i'm going to continue to put these together we're definitely going to have plenty of saw horses now which is cool you can never have enough saw horses right johnny you can never have enough saw horses huh <laughs> he's like i don't trust you dude all right i just finished all 12. I'm going to stop for today, but tomorrow I'll route all the edges, sand them, and then well, maybe we'll paint them another day. <laughs> it's a saw horse, not a real horse. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching.